So the hatred amongst our people, is it real? It's real, right? Because we refuse to apply the commandments of God. Did you know according to the Bible that you are Israelite? That you're not black? You're not African American? That we are the real Jews? Did you know that? You did. Come here, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna prove it. Hey, bro, you got a flyer? Hey, hey, let's get this brother a flyer right here. Hey, do you know according to the Bible that we not black or African Americans? Did you know that? I know, I know, sis. It, so we hear it. We like, yo, all my life, that's what I knew. But we are not black people. That's right. We are not African Americans. That's I'm gonna show y'all in five minutes. Just give me five minutes. Come right here. I'm gonna show it to y'all. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Come here. Come here real quick. Five minutes. I'm gonna prove to y'all that according to the Bible, we are the real Jews. That's the right. blacks and the Hispanics are the people that Moses brought out of Egypt. That's five minutes. Right. Watch this. Give me Jeremiah 14 first. I'm going to prove to y'all that we the Israelites and we came into slavery because we broke the commandments that Moses gave our ancestors. That's documented in the Bible. Did you, did you know that? I'm going to show it to you. And guess what, bro? You the leader. You are God on the earth. That's right. You understand that? And God is calling the men to come back out here and raise our people back up to the status that they supposed to be. That's Watch right. this. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. And I want to ask, ask them a question real quick. Real quick, who is this? Yeah, who is this? Who y'all know him as? That's God. That's God? Y'all see this, right? Yeah. They say, this is Jesus. This white man is Jesus. That's what y'all was taught, right? Yeah. What you say, sis? Who is that? Who is this? Jesus? Who is this? Y'all don't know who that is, but y'all know who that is. Okay, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm, I want to get that first. I want to get that first because we got to bring that out. So the young children, even the sister, say that this white image is Jesus the Christ. Let's read it out of the Bible. This is the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ means to reveal. The Bible is going to reveal to y'all how Jesus looked. Y'all understand? Jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is today, the Sabbath. Read on. And heard behind me a great voice. So John heard behind him a great voice. If somebody speak behind you with a loud voice, what are you going to do? If somebody behind you and say, what was your name again? What's your name? Ken. If somebody step behind you and say, Ken, what you gonna do? You gonna turn around. Watch this. Read. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write it in a book. So who is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last? Who is that? God. That's, that's his son, Jesus the Christ. So the Bible says, John, what you see, write it in a book. The Bible. Y'all understand? Yeah. Read on. Jump down to verse 12. Verse, verse 12. And I, and I turn to see the voice that spake with me. So John turned around to see who was talking to him. He was not asleep. This was not a dream. Y'all understand? Read on. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So he said when he turned around, he saw seven golden candlesticks. Read on. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. So somebody was standing in the middle of the candlesticks. One light unto the sun of man. Said, this man looked like Jesus the Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So Christ had on a garment down to the foot, similar to what y'all see us wearing. Christ was clothed with the garment down to the foot. So remember, they wore sandals back then. So the garment came down to about by his ankles. So you can see the top of his feet. Read on. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. This is the girdle, what we have on here. But Christ had on a golden girdle. Read. His head and his hairs were white like 
war. So the Bible says Jesus Christ, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and woolly. What people got white woolly hair? I mean, got woolly hair. Black. Who? Black. Black people. Touch your hair. You right here in the pink. That's woolly hair. Do y'all understand that? So the Bible says Jesus Christ got white woolly hair. Which one of these got white woolly hair? This That's one. That's right. So far, which one is starting to look like Jesus Christ? Okay, good, good, good. Read on. As white as snow. Meaning his hair was fully white. What we call today gray hair. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So they say his eyes was as a flame of fire. Meaning his eyes was red because Christ drunk wine in moderation. His first miracle was he turned water into what? Wine. At a wedding. Ain't nothing wrong with drinking, but we cannot get drunk. Y'all understand? Yeah. So which one of these eyes are red? This one. Okay, good. Read. And his feet. And his feet. So John looked down at Jesus Christ's feet. Read. Unto, like unto fine brass. So his feet was like fine brass. Who know what color brass is? What color is brass? Copper brown, right? So he looked at Christ's feet. Your feet the same color as your body, right? So he says feet was like fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. So Christ's skin was so dark it looked like it burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color is it going to turn? Black. Black. Which one of these is Jesus now? Round of applause. That's right. All praise to the most high. Jesus That's Christ right. is a black man. Now watch this. I'm going to show y'all that we blood descendants of Jesus Christ. We got the same blood that Jesus Christ got in him. Give me uh, Hebrews 7, 14. Watch this. Watch this. Because we was taught that we was African Americans, black, niggas, Negroes, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Cubans, Guatemalans. That's not in the Bible. God called us the 12 tribes of Israel that Moses brought out of Egypt. I'm going to prove it. Read. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So who is our Lord? Jesus Christ. He said he sprang out of Judah, meaning he came from the tribe of Judah. That's Jeremiah right. 14. And then give me Deuteronomy 28. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. So Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. Verse 2, Judah morning. The Bible says that Judah morning, Jew, the, the short, Jew is short for Judah. So in order to be a Jew, you got to be from the tribe of Judah. That's the right. Bible says the Jews are in mourning. Why? Look at our neighborhoods. Look at the conditions that we in getting shot down in the streets by the police and by our own people. Exactly. So when you look on the news, what do you see mothers doing, black mothers? Crying. Crying. The Bible says the Jews are in mourning, read. And the gates thereof language. The leaders of the Jews are weak. Who is the leaders? Who's standing up for our people? Jesse Jackson, weak. Only time he come out is when they pay him. Teach, huh? The Bible says that the Jews' leaders are weak, read. They are black until the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black until the ground. So the Bible says that the Jews are black until the ground. You know why I say unto the ground? What color is the dirt? Black. black. Different shades of brown. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. The Jews is not white people. We are the Jews. Y'all right. understand that? And I'm going to prove it. Deuteronomy 28, I'm going to show you. How did our ancestors get here? Did y'all know anything about slavery? Yeah. How did we get over here? I'm going to ask them, then I'm going to ask y'all. Y'all don't know? How did we get over here? I don't On ships? Yeah, but how did we get How did they bring us to this land? In chains. In chains? On boats? Right? That's what happened, right? Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning a future prophecy. This was Moses, a black man, talking to the children of Israel. He says something is going to happen in the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken. Hearken means listen. Unto the voice of the Lord 
thy God. Where's God's voice at? In this Bible. These words that's written. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said through Moses that if you break the commandments, curses will come upon you. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Yeah. It's a bad thing, right? So he said curses is going to happen to you. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters was taken and given to another people? Who did that happen to? Us. At what time? When? 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 Where was we at at that time? We was in what? In slavery. In slavery. And it's still happening today. DCFS. It's still happening today because the curses is not over with. We still under these curses. Ice. Bring it out. It's 500 kids right now that was taken from their parents in Mexico and they cannot find their parents. They cannot be relocated with their parents. This happened to the Mexicans also. Read. And thy eyes shall look. And thy eyes shall look, meaning you're going to see this happen. And fail with longing for them all the day long. And you're going you're gonna to cry, cry, and cry some more. Why? Because this is why. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Meaning you're not, the only reason why you're crying because did we have any power to get our kids back? They took our kids and that was it. It was nothing we can do. God said if we break the commandments, curses will come upon you, upon the children of Israel. Verse 48. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness, of heart for the abundance of all things. So the Bible says because we didn't want to serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. God was going to give us the whole earth to rule. The position that the white man is in today, that's supposed to be us. That's right. Because we didn't want to serve God for all things, meaning keep the holidays that's documented in the Bible. That's right. Keep the laws that's documented in the Bible. Therefore, Therefore shall thy serve thy enemy. God said you're going to be a slave to your enemies. That's Watch right. this. He's going to tell you who the enemy is. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which who? The Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. So for food, during this time of slavery, who gave us food? Who, gave, who fed us in slavery? The master. Don't be scared. It's okay. They ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> who did it? White man. The master. Well, which was who? Say it. It's okay. The white man. The white man. That's the right. white man gave us our food in slavery. Who giving us our food today? The white man. The white man. Bring it out. Who own all the grocery stores? The who own man. the food production companies? Is we still in slavery? We is. Watch yeah. this. Read. And and thirst for something to drink in slavery. Who gave us something to drink? The white man. Who giving us something to drink today? The white man. I own all the water companies. Aquafina, Dasani. If you don't pay your water bill, they cut it off. That's right. Read. And and nakedness for clothing. Who gave us clothes in slavery? We weren't making no clothes. We picked the cotton for them, and they gave us the clothes that they wanted us to wear. Who giving us our clothes today? White man. The white man. Say made in the USA. Uh -huh. It's say made in China. They are enemies too. It's not just the white man. All nations is against the children of Israel. That's right. One thing they don't want us to do is realize who we are. If them niggas, that's what they call us. If they wake up, we doomed. If they come back to this Bible, we doomed. That's All right. nations know that. All of them. We don't know it. Read. And in the want of all things. So during the time of slavery, he said everything that we want, everything that we need, we're going to have to go to our enemy for it. So in slavery, who, who, who was the doctors? What doctors did we have to go to when we got sick? The white man. The white man. Who taught us how to read? The white man. Today. Who, do, who doctors do we go to today? Who own all the hospitals? The white man. Who own all the schools? The white man. If you want a birth certificate, a social security card, who you got to go to? The white man. Bring it out. 
even till this day, we still got to go to them for the want of all things. Whatever we want, care if you own your own business. Who give you the things that you sell in your store? The white man. He produced everything. Bring it out. And he, and he, the enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So he said he's going to put a yoke of iron. Who had yokes of iron on their necks? Black. Look at that picture. Uh -huh. Who? Blacks Black. and Hispanics. That happened to our uh, so-called Hispanics also. The enemy shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck until he have destroyed thee. Meaning, the yoke of iron was going to come off when you knew, when he knew, you would, they don't know who they are anymore. Take the chains off. They not going nowhere. They not going to fight. Who we fight against each other? Who we fight against now? Each other. Each other. Oh, we don't know that the white man is the enemy. Now, I want to say this. We're not telling you pick up a gun and fight the white man. The Bible says keep the commandments. And God is going to destroy America. He's going to destroy America That's when we come right. back and do what this book say. And I'm going to show you, it's documented in here, Christ coming back to destroy all nations and give us back rulership. That's right. When we repent and keep the commandments, we got to do what this book say. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So y'all read the Bible before? When the children of Israel was in Egypt, what was they doing? What was their position there? Uh, they, were slaves. they were slaves. So when you read the Bible, the children of Israel never went back into that land. So this Egypt is talking about something else. Watch this. You got Exodus 20. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Watch what he called Egypt. Out of the house of Egypt. Bondage. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. slavery. So he say, I'm your God that brought you out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, bondage. That's what that means. So when he say we're going to go back into Egypt in 68. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. So what do Egypt mean? Jail. Say it again. Jail. Slavery. Remember what the children of Israel was doing in Egypt. They was what? Slaves. Remember, he said, Exodus 22, he said, I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for what? Slavery. So when you read that word right there, that's what he's saying. Meaning I'm taking you back into the same conditions you was in when you was in that land. But he's going to tell us how we're going to get to this new Egypt. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Again, it's a slavery again with ship. With what? With ship. How do we get here? On boats, ship. on ships. It's going to go more into detail. Watch this. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses say, just how I'm telling y'all it's going to happen, it's going to happen this exact way. Jerusalem, Read. the land of Israel. But as a nation, as a whole, we have not seen that land again. Read. And there. And there, once you get off the ships, Hey, bro, where you going? And there, once you get off the ships, ye shall be sold. What? Ye shall be sold. Unto who? Unto your enemy. Did they not sell us when we got here? They sold us on auction blocks. Yeah. You understand that? To your what? What did God call the people that sold us? No, no. Read that part again. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Who sold us? The enemy. Which is who? Who are they today? The white man. The white man is the enemy. That's he put it. guns in our community. He put crack cocaine in our community. Yeah. When we were standing up to fight, doing the Panther movement, doing the civil rights movement, what did they do? <laughs> Gave us crack cocaine. Uh -huh. Heroin. Is that a friend? No. They say, listen, we can't let them rise up. We cannot let them come together. So they say, Put crack in their neighborhood. Step back. Watch yeah. how they destroy themselves. Yeah. Give them guns. Give them money. Yeah. Watch how they envy one another. That's the problem with our people. We yeah. breaking the commandments of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.